Jonathan is the third straight game where it feels like it's just one bad quarter for you. It really, really gets away. Mm -hmm. Almost can't pull it back in. What's happening in some of these quarters? Still kind of alluded to maybe it's just the depth thing and the lineup thing there. Uh, just trying to survive and, and unfortunately just gets away from the double half. Yeah. There. Um, I think it's part of it. I think it's, you know, it is what it is. Like, we, we have guys out, and it's been like that, you know, all year and last year and things like that. Uh, I think going to the third quarter, just, I don't know what it is, maybe a lack of focus and just prioritizing, obviously, defense over the course of the game, but emphasizing how important those first few possessions are going into the third and just prioritizing having good starts in the third. And obviously, you can't control shots and things like that, but kind of just controlling what we can and just making sure that we're in the right spots, having rotations, just emphasizing, getting off to good starts on the third. That puts us uh, behind us, been like that all year. And I think that, you know, we just got to turn a new leaf with that. And I think that'll put us in a better position to win games at the end. Given the injuries tonight, Cliff decided to, to roll a bigger lineup to start. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you got to start a point guard. I don't think you've done that as an NBA player. Uh, just, yeah. from just overall, just kind of analysis, what did you think of your yeah, I mean, I always feel like I could play better regardless. And um, obviously, I'm still unhappy with the way I, I performed and found like I could play better. Of course, I feel like that every game. And nobody's going to be harder on, on me than myself. And um, obviously, the thing that stands out are the turnovers. And being in that position, I got to be better with the ball, less turnovers. And um, just being a little bit more organized. You know, I know I haven't done it in a while, um, but I still hold myself to a high standard with just my performance in general. And um, I think for us having a, a, a lineup like that that we haven't had pretty much ever, I think that we did relatively fine. Um, I mean, most of the turnovers were my turnovers, but I think overall 13 turnovers for a lineup like that over the course of the game isn't too bad. Obviously, the defense for us is Got to be better. We did better in the first um, in the first half, but like we talked about before, just prioritizing that in the third. Um, but I also understand it's part of it. You know, I'm still trying to find rhythm. I don't know how many games it's, it's been for me, but still just building on that and understanding this. Every game's a different look, and you know, I'm building all my all my looks and live play through the game, and I just got to continue to be better. And I'm gonna build off the off each game really, and just continue to grow. Obviously, intense there late. Uh, Steve gets spotted in the fourth quarter. What was the message like in the huddle? Obviously, to Coach Yeah, I mean, just continue to play and just keep fighting. And um, I mean, I love that honestly. And I, I feel like if he didn't get it, I was about to. And I think it's you know, it, it just it's the kind of fire we need. And that's you know, that's how he coaches day in and day out. And you know, I love it. At, at the end of the day, I feel like it's just it, it kind of gives us a spark and. At the end of the day, we got to continue to play together and stay together, no matter what the score is, and just continue to find find ways to put ourselves in a position to win games, and regardless what the score is, continue to play. Kind of going off that a little bit, um, Nick Richardson inside this post game, how at halftime you were kind of riling up the team and trying to get me motivated. Yeah. Uh, was there a halftime message you maybe this one? It's a close game. But yeah. You know, just stay in. Uh, I mean, kind of just touched on it. Really, there ain't really too much to say about it. It's just continue to have that, you know, pride of competing and understanding regardless of what the score is looking like, just feeling like we can win the game regardless. And um, yeah, just kind of having that pride to want to go out there and put ourselves in a position to win. And, you know, we've, I'm sure we've all been in games where it looked like it was over and we ended up winning those games. So it's very, it's very doable, very possible. Obviously, the goal is to not be in that position towards the end of the game. And that's why it's important that we prioritize our third, third quarters that we've have been great at and find a ways to improve those so that towards the end of the game, we don't have to do that. But, you know, focus on just executing and um, just focusing on what's more important at the end of the game so that we don't have to continue to do that. But like I said, it's growth and um, we're going to continue to keep building together and keep fighting regardless of what the score is. So, Cody, uh, before the season started, you talked about your rehab and coming back and everything. You want to be 100% sure. Yeah. Now that you've been back for a little while, <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, from a physical standpoint, like I feel fine. I mean, obviously, from a rhythm standpoint, it's hard to it's hard to get that and, and you know 
you know, guys go out with ankle injuries for two, three weeks, and, uh, you know, it's, it's about rhythm for them getting back into the game. And at the end of the day, I'm not making any excuses for myself. I got to play better, and I play better. It helps our team end up being in a position to win a game, win games, and uh, I'm going to continue to build and grow and play better. Um, but, you know, it's not easy to do, especially being out that long and feeling like you're getting all your live looks throughout the game. And like I said, each game is different. And But I also, you know, take pride in myself and what I bring to, to the table in terms of being um, able to adjust over course of the games and course over um, the season and things like that. So that's what I'm going to continue to do. And I'm going to stay in the gym, keep working, and stay confident. Cody's obviously our guy with a strong defensive reputation for a guy who knows a lot about playing on that end of the floor. Mm-hmm. What is so challenging about going up against a guy with a talent like Jimmy He's a tough cover, man. He's he's really mastered his, his footwork, and you know when he gets in the paint, not only can he score the ball, but you know he's a floor general. He he knows the reads, he knows what to look for, and he makes his team better. And then obviously, it allows his team, his whole team, to play with a lot of confidence and feeling like they're they're staying ready and waiting for it to come to them. And when they do, they're ready to play. So I know it's 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 hard, and it's hard playing against someone like him, um, and. That's why, like, you know, it's, it's tough. You know, you try to find different schemes, different looks, and in reality, they're good at what they do, and they're going to get enough looks to, to score the ball. It's just about doing what you can to contain them, and um, tonight we didn't do um, exactly that. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think, you know, they had DiVincenzo shoots 15 threes. He has 28 points. Um, so they had other guys to step up for them, and they played well. And other guys did their job, and you know that's what it's about. So we just got to get better, and just got to go back, watch film, and grow as a team. Thanks, appreciate it.